Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to start one more lesson from your main textbook, Honeydew textbook. But before I start the lesson, as usual, let me ask you one simple question. How many snakes are poisonous and what is the percentage of venomous snakes in this world? Do you think all snakes are venomous, poisonous or do you also think that there are some snakes which are not actually poisonous or non-venomous snakes? So if you know the names of those snakes which are non-venomous or non-poisonous, comment in the comment section below so that let me also know that you know the names of those snakes which are non-poisonous. At the same time, if you know uh, which is the most poisonous snake in the world, if you know the answer, comment in the comment section below. So don't waste your time, leave the comment in the comment section below and then let me also know that you know the answer to these questions. So I have asked you three questions, which is the most venomous or poisonous snake in this world and second one, if you know the names of uh, non-venomous snakes, then leave your comment in the comment section and third question is, which is the most dangerous snake in this world? Okay. Now, why did I ask you this question is, the story which I am going to start or the lesson which I am going to begin in this video has connection with such kind of thing. In this story also, a person has been bitten by a snake and how the person saved his life by doing something which is very uh, difficult to understand. So let us begin the lesson now without any delay. But before I start the video, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell so that you can receive latest updates and information the moment I upload videos on YouTube and like, share and comment on this video. The lesson which I am going to begin in this video is, this is Jody's fawn. So let me explain what is fawn. Fawn means a young deer or a baby deer and Jody is the central character in this lesson or in this story. Now there is before you read, let me read that and let me explain briefly. So in the before you read, often instead of rushing to the doctor to treat a small cut or burn, we find quick and effective cures using things available at home. Can you think of some such home remedies for? So here they have given three situations. So what can we use at home which are available at home to cut on your knee? So when you, there is a cut on your knee, what is a home remedy you can use? Uh, you may use turmeric powder or you may use any other things which are available at home to uh, just give a first aid kind of treatment to that problem. So if you know answer to these three things, you can leave your comment in the comment section below. What are the three things here? A cut on your knee, what will you do if a cut happened on your knee and a burn on your arm? And then second, next one is a bee sting. So if you are stung by a bee, then what will you do which is available at home? You have to use something which is available in your home and you have to give the first aid treatment to that. So if you know the answers to these three questions, leave your comment in the comment section. Now what is this story? In this story, Jody's father has been bitten by a rattlesnake. He quickly kills a doe and uses its heart and liver to draw out the poison. Jody wonders what will happen to the little fawn left without a mother. So in the story what happened, Jody's father was bitten by a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake is considered to be one of the most dangerous snakes. The venom or the poison of the snake is very very dangerous. It can kill a person within a short span of time. So when uh, Jody's father was bitten by the rattlesnake, what he did is he quickly kills a doe. Doe means a uh, deer quickly kills a doe and uses its heart and liver to draw out the poison. So they have followed this method of extracting or removing the poison from the body of a person who was bitten by the rattlesnake. But the thing is, as they have killed a doe or as they have killed the mother deer, the baby deer, the fawn has become motherless. Now the baby deer is very young so it cannot survive by itself it needs milk to survive and mother was killed by these people so there is no other way for fawn to survive now the story begins after this what happened after that was jody was very upset and unhappy because they killed the mother deer and the fawn is left in the forest and unattended and fawn may die because of lack of food so jody convinced his father and mother 
to bring the young fawn to his home so that he can feed the young fawn and the young fawn may survive so he successfully convinced his mother and convinced his father he along with one more person milville they went in search of uh, young fawn in the forest but it is not so easy to search the young fawn in the forest so they faced so many problems while they were uh, in search of uh, the young fawn in the second part of the story you can read that jody gave himself over to thoughts of the fawn they passed the abandoned clearing he said cut to the north millville it was up here that pa got bitten by the snake and killed the doe and i saw the fawn suddenly jody was unwilling to have millville with him if the fawn was dead or could not be found he could not have his disappointment seen and if the fawn was there the meeting would be so lovely and so secret that he could not endure to share it he said it's not far now but the scrub is very thick for a horse i can make it on foot but i am afraid to leave you boy suppose you got lost or got bitten by the snake too so milville and jody they went in search of fawn they faced so many problems because it's a very thick forest uh, but they couldn't locate the fawn in the beginning but jody has not lost his interest jody wants to really help this young fawn and he wants to bring the fawn back so you can understand how jody is compassionate and how jody wants to uh, give life back to and how jody wants to treat the young fawn which has become motherless in the third part Jody successfully found the young fawn when he found the young fawn the young fawn was looking very weak the fawn lifted its nose scenting him he reached out one hand and laid it on the soft neck the touch made him delirious he moved forward on all fours until he was close beside it he put his arms around its body a light convulsion passed over it but he did not stir jody gently made friendship with this fawn and he brought the fawn to his house once he brought the young fawn to his house he started feeding the young fawn with the milk but fawn is not used to drink milk then what jody did did he immersed his fingers in the bowl of milk and he placed his fingers inside the mouth of the young fawn let me read that paragraph jody then went to the kitchen the fawn wobbled after him a pan of morning's milk stood in the kitchen safe the cream had risen on it he skimmed the cream into a jug he poured milk into a small goat he held it out to the fawn but it buttered it suddenly it buttered it suddenly smelling the milk he saved it precariously from spilling over the floor it could make nothing of the milk in the goat he dipped his fingers in the milk and thrust them into the fawn's soft wet mouth it sucked greedily when he when he withdrew them it bleated frantically when he withdrew them it bleated frantically and butted him he dipped his fingers again and as the fawn sucked he lowered them slowly into the milk the fawn blew and sucked and snorted it stamped its small hoofs impatiently as long as he held his fingers below the level of the milk the fawn was content it closed its eyes dreamily it was ecstasy to feel its tongue against his hand its small tail flicked back and forth the last of the milk vanished in a swirl of foam and gurgling so the story ends in this way jody started feeding the young fawn with the milk and young fawn survived in this story we can understand that though jody's father killed uh, do the mother of this fawn to survive or to recover from the snake bite but jody is not forgotten about the young fawn he is very compassionate he wanted to save the fawn so that is the reason why jody convinced his parents went into the forest with the help of milville he searched when they were searching for the young fawn they faced so many problems but jody did not lose his interest he was not terrified by the thick forest and the problems he faced in the forest finally he found the young fawn and he brought the young fawn and he gave milk to the young fawn when young fawn failed to drink milk from the pot or bowl he dipped his fingers inside the milk and he kept those fingers and he kept his fingers into the young fawn's mouth so that fawn started so fawn can drink milk and survive why the fawn has been named as jody is because jody helped the fawn to survive this is a summary of the lesson this is jody's fawn now what you have to do is you have to read the first second and third part silently and answer to the questions given under comprehension check 
Once you find the answers to the questions given under the comprehension check, come to the working with the text, read the questions which are given under the working with the text and find out answers to those questions and write the answers in your notebook. And after that, come to working with the language and find the answers to these questions and write answers to those questions in your notebook. So this is about the summary of the lesson. This is Jody's fun. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates of information the moment I upload videos on YouTube. I'm going to publish video lessons to all the lessons, prose, poetry, and from supplementary textbook hereafter. So thanks for watching this video. And always remember, stay home, stay safe, and stay strong. Take care. Thanks for watching this video. If you have come to the end of this video, I believe that you are interested to watch a few more videos related to the topic. So now you can check this out video or watch this one. Click this video. It will take you into another video.